Wow. Woo! It's amazing. It's really real and the, the wind makes it even more real. The position and the grip here, it's a really cool experience. Virtual worlds, avatars, all things metaverse are prominent at this year's CES in Las Vegas. After Facebook, now officially called Meta, announced they are building an alternative virtual reality world, innovation has picked up speed. Companies worldwide are looking for ways to make their mark in the metaverse. So this whole area, it's about virtual reality development. It's about making the experience in virtual reality environments better. This is definitely one of my favorite gadgets here at CES this year. Along with these gloves and this vest, it all allows me to feel whatever I'm experiencing in the virtual reality world. It doesn't matter if it's a game, if it's this a DJ set, everything that I'm experiencing, even the music, I can feel it right here and right here. It's amazing. The tech industry has been thriving during the pandemic when we were forced to live our lives online, both business and private. Just think of streaming. Netflix now has 230 million subscribers. In the last quarter alone, the platform added 18 million new customers. Disney Plus counts 118 million subscribers and Amazon Prime 175 million. This also applies to digital health applications and gadgets. It's another big topic in this year's CES. Like this chair right here, it's a massage chair that could get my vitals information about my health while I watch my favorite show. The digital health sector grew rapidly because of the pandemic. And you know everything from solutions for bringing things like rapid tests to market, to wearables to help monitor people. We have a company here called Bio, uh, Bio and Talents that helps uh, monitor your vitals so that if you know if somebody is sick and, and needs to know whether this is now a point where I need to get doctor's care that they can do that. So there's a lot of new technology solutions that have come out as a result of what's happened over the past two years. This is a autonomous measurement booth. Let me show you how it works. So the iNuba box scans your body completely using a three-dimensional capture system and then all your health metrics are going directly into the app. And at the very end, you get your own health avatar. Once the avatar is created, AI software creates personalized meal and training plans. Sensors collect information on how your body reacts to physical exercise. The system adapts them according to your fitness goals in real time. And thanks to body thermography, possible injuries and pains can be detected in advance. And that's it for this week's Top Tech News, live from Las Vegas. See you next time. Bye.